Fresh, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning. It's 8.50 a.m. Cats want to eat. Hi, Simba. Hi, Stella. Eat your grass. Sim is waiting for food on the steps. I almost tripped on him walking down. Splash let me pet him a lot this morning. How you doing, Splash? Being a good boy? Come on. Splash is purring. He purrs very gently. He has very, very soft fur. This is their breakfast. They are getting the primal raw chicken and salmon nuggets. They're getting uh, the instinct raw chicken bites. They're getting rescue remedy. Come on, guys. Eat your food. Good morning, Boo. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Coming up. But look, look what he does. Here's the brush. And he'd rather be on an arch. Now he'd rather eat. Do you see this? Boo's in heaven. He has his arch and he has a brush and he has scratching pads. Now he's gonna say hello to his other arch. He wants all of his arches with him. Come here in the middle. There you go.
I think he might uh, favor these a little bit um, because they don't move as much. This one is like lighter weight and it definitely moves more. This is a first. Two cats on top of the cat tower. This is so funny. Splash is on the floor. But there's room up there for him. Hello, Stella. How are you? I should bring the other scratch and roll downstairs for them. That way there'd be two down here and two up there. It is about 11 a.m. right now. I just came outside to give Hydrox some food and he was sleeping on this chair. I didn't even realize it until I was standing here and he jumped off because I really can't see him from inside like when he's on this chair because the table blocks the view. Good morning. How are you? Being a boy? Want some food? Hydrox just moved over to the other side of the patio where it was sunny a few seconds ago. There's Boo in the window. I don't know if you could see him. He's looking down at Hydrox. Really when Boo's in the window all you can see is his eyes. And there's Stella hanging out in the door watching me. Three sixteen PM. I thought I would point out that uh, this Cadet circuit fits perfectly under a scratch and roll, like perfectly. Watch this. Here we go, ready? I stopped by the post office today because I hadn't been there since last week and they're not happy when I only go there once a week to pick up my mail because it has been piling up. So I try to go there maybe two or three times a week now uh, to see if there's anything for the P.O. box and I picked up some packages today and this is one of the packages. Now normally I hold all the packages um, and I just open them all once a week on mail day. but because it's only a few days before Thanksgiving and because I have a good idea of what is in this package I know my family will enjoy it on Thanksgiving and I have been in contact with the person that sent me this package uh, they had emailed me previously um, so I'm going to open this one today
Check that out. It says Natchitoches Pecans Incorporated, Natural Pecan Halves, and this is three pounds. Pecan, pecan, however you want to say it. These look really good. It says a holiday treat for you and the family, Craig. Thank you so much, Craig, for the pecans. I know we're gonna enjoy eating those. Oh my gosh, and look at this. What? What? Pralines? Pecan pralines? Really? <gasps> Look how awesome. Pecan candy? Chewy pralines. Oh, wow. I haven't had a praline since um, I was in New Orleans in 2012. Uh, I went on a road trip. Um, oh my gosh. Wow, these look so good. We're gonna have a lot of fun eating all of these. Um, and that's why I wanted to open this package before Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for sending these. These are going to be great in holiday dishes um, as well as holiday desserts. And then on the back of the card, it says the Little Ava Pecan Company LLC from Little Ava Plantation, Cloudierville, Louisiana. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct. And the website is natchitochespecans.com. It says for pecan storage, pecans must be stored properly to preserve freshness. In shell or shelled pecans can be stored under refrigeration for about nine months or frozen at zero degrees Fahrenheit for up to two years. Wow, I didn't know that. Tight containers are necessary for storing pecans, otherwise they will absorb odors and flavors from other foods. To maintain freshness, refrigerate or freeze promptly. So I am going to put everything in the refrigerator right now. And yes, I did have an audience while I was filming the little unboxing segment. Here's Stella and Simba sitting among the cat things. I've not put the uh, fountain together yet. Okay, so out of every wall in the house, this corner right here gets rubbed by the cats more than any other corner. The reason why is because it's the corner closest to where they are served their meals. Right now I'm talking about Stella, Splash, and Simba. I mean, as I'm filming this, you can see Simba continuously rub up against it. You can even see how the corner is starting to become discolored from all their rubbing. Okay, Simba. So what I would like to do is take this cat itself groomer and put this here so that when the cats rub up against it, they can groom themselves, like Simba's kind of doing now. So this comes with some double-sided tape. I'm gonna put the tape on here and then I'm gonna put it on the wall. There's the cat it self-groomer hanging on the wall. I don't know how strong that sticky tape is because it honestly feels like it's not gonna last on the wall for very long. So we'll just wait and see. I do have like a roll of double-sided tape somewhere. So if this loses its stickiness and falls off, I'll just reapply the other stuff. Stella's checking out the scratcher because there is some catnip in there. The question is, is she gonna use that? She's gonna pull it right off the wall. She thinks it's a treat dispenser. She thinks if she like touches it and knocks it around, treats are gonna come out or catnip is gonna come out. Still, you gonna rub up on it? Rub up on it. This is the first time ever that Boo hasn't touched his breakfast. 
He might have eaten some of the raw nuggets from like around the edges, but he seems to not like his breakfast. I don't know if it's because the wheatgrass, but he's had plenty of dishes with wheatgrass on it before. I don't know what his deal is. So I am going to uh, take this one away. I'm going to give him his dinner. Now, if he doesn't eat his dinner within the next uh, few hours, I'll give him some dry food. Because he loves dry food. Maybe he's becoming a really picky eater and he's just holding out for his dry food. But the dry food's not as healthy as this food, so he's not going to be able to do that. He goes from one arch to the other arch. Today I put that motion bug in the circuit and I forgot there was one of those balls in it already. So it's just pushing it around. This bug is pushing the ball around, which is really kind of cool. And Boo is having a great time chasing it. We're trying to get it. And I don't have to keep pushing the ball around for him. The bug is doing all the work. This thing is awesome. Somehow that bug just got separated from the ball. This reminds me of like a train set. I'm like, I could put this under my Christmas tree. I can make a big track and then put the bug in it. Who needs a train under their Christmas tree? You could have a, a bug in a cadet circuit. Is he gonna get the bug out? Did he get the bug out? <gasps> he got the bug out! Boo! You got the bug out! Somebody get the bug out. Is he gonna try to eat it? Good boy, Boo! Good boy, you got the bug out! Did you turn it off at the same time? Oh yeah, it got turned off. See how he's blocking it? He blocks it with his paw. He got it out again. Good boy, Boo. You got it out again. Well, then he put it right back in. Oh, he got it out again. And now he's carrying it in his teeth. I hope he doesn't try to eat it. Good boy, Boo. I'm not putting it back in here. I wonder if the batteries are going dead in this bug. Oh, look at this. He took the track apart. 
Oh yeah, he just tore that track up to get the bug out. The batteries could be going dead in that bug because it has been used quite a lot prior to um, this. Okay, boo, we don't need it. It's a toy. He did it again. I'm rooting for the bug right now. It should stay in the track, even if it's not right side up. Because it should eventually, you know, right itself. And then keep going. Oh, he might have turned it in the other direction. Is there, it's struggling. It's on its back. He's gonna get it right out. I think he's gonna pick up the ball in here. Yep, there's a ball. <laughs> 